like I just said, if they're not putting you on or correcting you when you're wrong, it is no point. Like it's time for the season of, look, we got to chop, chop, cut it off. It's about to be summertime. It's about to be beautiful outside. Right now it's beautiful outside. It's no point of sitting around people or in the house or sitting anywhere at this point in life and you don't know your worth, you don't understand your values, and you're sitting around people that do not even care about you enough to see you be great or see you get to the next level. To me, that is wasted time. So that's why I keep saying time is of the essence because I refuse to continue to sit around people that don't mean me no value. I, I refuse to do anything I don't want to do. And a lot of people might be thinking, oh, okay, she must be mad about something or, oh, okay, she, you know, is having this I don't give up attitude and that's cool that's fine and you're right when you start getting older your patience is like this okay and the older you get the more you just feel like look honey i ain't gotta argue with nobody i ain't gotta do nothing nobody i don't have to do anything i don't want to do i don't have to be on mute i'm going to be myself one thousand percent and I'm a very sweet, genuine person. Very, very, very sweet. If you, if anybody knows me, they know that I love hard. I work hard. I would do anything that for a person that I love that I would do for myself. And even if I don't love you, if it's people that are homeless, uh, giving back different shelters, the cancer patients, especially kids, I love that. I was a teacher for 10 years. I'm a counselor. Like, I love to see people succeed. However, it comes to a point in your life where you're just like, okay, hey, if you're not helping yourself, you're not bettering yourself, I don't have nothing for you. And it ain't even about that. It's just the point of that I have to protect my energy, my peace, my soul, and my direction. I can't get distracted from negative thoughts, negative entities, and people that want to continuously put me back in the situation that I used to be in. So... There y'all go. Sorry. I was all over here in myself. Yes, honey, your girl is back full in the flesh. Okay. And I just wanted to tap in and let y'all know your girl is doing great. I will say the only thing that I have been dealing with right now is just getting everything situated with new career. I don't know why I always lose this camera. Getting myself situated with new career, new business endeavor, trying to just stay focused, you know, with a lot of things that are going on right now. Um, of course, my eyelash line is still popping and I will have a lot of new eyelashes, excuse me, online. So make sure that y'all tap in. Um, also, I do want to have a lot of new cute things for the summertime. I have already put my summer addiction crop tops back online. So feel free to go there and tap, tap, tap and shop. Okay. But yes, y'all, I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know, like, time is of the essence. I don't have time to waste on people, things or anything that's not bringing me happiness and peace. Like, I don't have time to sit up here and get caught up so far in the world and not realize what I want for myself, what I want to do for myself. And it seems like this has been a very draining season, but everyone has been lit. I have seen it, you know, a lot of people traveling, a lot of people having a good time. But for some odd reason, it just kind of feels like the energy for me is like up one month, down the next, up, up, down, down. And I think it's more because I am connecting a lot more with people on business endeavors, talking to more people as far as about like their brands, helping a lot of people. And some of the people that I help because I am a counselor. So a lot of the people that I help, I think it's because their energy is projecting so much on me. I'm, I'm doubling like, okay, do I need to stay in this career? Do I need to switch to just full-time entrepreneurship? Like what does it need to be? But I love to help people. I love to counsel people. I love to teach. I love to create. Um, most importantly, I love events. So I think I might just switch gears, you know, to start doing more of the things that keep me vibrant, you know, keep doing the things that keep me more excited and, you know, versus like, okay, I got to jump into someone else's world, help you with your situation. And I don't have a problem with that. I'm going to start opening up mentoring sessions and I would love to do that. But it's just something different about when you're doing it eight hours out the day versus, okay, just a quick three to five. You know, it's just it's just a big difference. So I've been dealing with that. But other than that, y'all, I have been great. I do want to let y'all know that time is of the essence. Whatever you want to do, do it. Don't allow people to stop you. 
Don't allow people to dictate your journey and don't allow anything to continue to drain you. And I have to tell myself this, if anything is stopping you from being great or stopping you from doing what you need to do, cut it off. It ain't even needed. Like it's no point of having things and people in your life that are going to continue putting you here when you can be here. I mean, at the same time, it's like you, you got to tell yourself like, it's stuff that you have set for your life. No one knows your vision. No one knows your purpose or your passion except for God himself. It's only taking you to get to that next level and you to cut out whatever it is that's stopping and blocking your blessing. So when it just comes to figuring out your next step, your best step, just do it. Do whatever it is that your heart is telling you to. But right now, I feel like we're in a season where we're allowing a lot of last year, the year before, to push you into a space of making you feel like you still need to be doing the same things when really we're just waiting on you. God is waiting on you. You got to stop. You got the stop light, the go light, the yellow light. It's up to you. And like I said, I always have to reiterate this to myself that, hey, forget what everybody else got to say. I'm doing what I want to do. And another thing, as I'm getting closer to 30, yep, I will be 30 in September. So make sure you turn on your post notifications, subscribe to your girl because it's going to be lit, okay? Um, but yes, I wanted to, you know, pretty much put myself in a situation where, look, by the age of 30, I'm not trying to go through the same things mentally, physically, emotionally. So I'm just going to just say, forget it. I don't have time to be you know babying anybody i don't have time to give everybody the benefit of the doubt as far as like like they say dating for potential and things like that no you either got it or you don't you either want to get on the bandwagon or you don't like i don't have time to sit up here and keep pushing people to a place that they feel like they don't even need to be in you know and that's for friends relationships situationships um everything jobs too you know i could give a, a great business idea and they're like oh okay we don't know about that but then three months down the road you want to double back no don't double back because it's the same with relationships don't double back stay where you at in that some period but so i'm just saying like time is of the essence don't sit up here and waste your time on temporary things temporary people temporary situations because that stuff will really drain you and y'all probably like okay what is she going through is she speaking about herself yes a lot of the things i have learned over these past couple years leading up to this point of going into this new decade yes i will agree a lot has drained me a lot has put me in a certain situation and i just personally feel that now that my father's gone my mother's here i got my grandmothers i got my family I'm spending time with those people that love me, people that want to see me succeed, people that are not draining me, people that are giving me that life, that fulfillment. And I'm going for every job and every creation that I want to that's going to put me in a better space. And that's just what it is. So I feel like we all have to get to a point where you got to stop caring about the what ifs and what this person said and what this person doing. And you got to understand that you don't owe nothing but to yourself and God to do what you need to do. You can't keep answering to people that's around you that don't want you to succeed. It's a lot of people that we sit around here and hang with and be with. They don't have your best interests at heart. Yeah, they might love you. Yeah, they might care for you. Yeah, they might say this and say that. But if they're not correcting you when you're wrong or they're not putting you on, then it's no, it's no point. And again, like I just said, if they're not putting you on or correcting you when you're wrong, it is no point. Like it's Time for the season of, look, we got to chop, chop, cut it off. It's about to be summertime. It's about to be beautiful outside. Right now, it's beautiful outside. It's no point of sitting around people or in the house or sitting anywhere at this point in life and you don't know your worth. You don't understand your values and you're sitting around people that do not even care about you enough to see you be great or see you get to the next level. To me, that is wasted time. So that's why I keep saying time is of the essence because... I refuse to continue to sit around people that don't mean me no value. I, I refuse to do anything I don't want to do. And a lot of people might be thinking, oh, okay, she must be mad about something. Or, oh, okay, she, you know, is having this I don't give up attitude. And that's cool. That's fine. And you're right. When you start getting older, your patience is like this. Okay? And the older you get, the more you just feel like, look, honey... I ain't got to argue with nobody. I ain't got to do nothing nobody. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. I don't have to be on mute. I'm going to be myself 1000%. And I'm a very sweet, genuine person. Very, very, very sweet. If you, if anybody knows me, they know that I love hard. I work hard. 
I would do anything that for a person I love that I would do for myself. And even if I don't love you, if it's people that are homeless, the giving back different shelters, the cancer patients, especially kids, I love that. I was a teacher for 10 years. I'm a counselor. Like I love to see people succeed. However, it comes to point in your life where you're just like, okay, hey, if you're not helping yourself, you're not bettering yourself, I don't have nothing for you. And it ain't even about that. It's just the point of that I have to protect my energy, my peace, my soul, and my direction. I can't get distracted from negative thoughts, negative entities, and people that want to continuously put me back in the situation that I used to be in. So from now on, this is me. This is the new me. I'm walking in my new light. I'm glowing. I'm flowing. I'm rolling. I'm doing my thing. And I don't have time to worry about the what is or what cannot happen or the fear. I don't want my brain to be bombarded with fear and you shouldn't either. Fear is something that that's what the devil want us to do. He want us to fear life, fear chances, fear the things that we know we can do because he doesn't want you to get ahead. And I'm not saying people are devils, but they are, but I'm saying the devil in general. So you have to know that you got one life, live your life. Do you? Everything else ain't even that deep. Like, you got to understand that if you took a death in the family, which we all have, you should understand that life is just meant to live, but it's not meant to play with people's emotions. It's not meant to lead people on. It's not meant to um, work jobs you don't want to work. It's not meant to go in places you don't want to go. It's not meant to being mad and, and, and unhappy every day. That ain't what life about. Life is about being happy every single day. Yes, you're going to have your ups and downs, but remember, you're still breathing. You have another opportunity. So you got to think about those people that didn't have another opportunity. Those people that are homeless or, you know, over there in Ukraine or in these third world countries that don't even have access to the things we have access to. So you got to be grateful for every single moment and every single opportunity that you get up. You got a breath in your body and your soul to do what you want to do and stop wasting time that's all i'm saying stop wasting time time is not meant to be wasted it's not meant to be wasted on something that is making you frown every day something that is making you feel like oh i don't want to get up every day something that's making you feel like uh you know and that's it and like i said that's including people don't be around people that's wasting your time. Don't give time and energy to things that just don't make sense. The devil definitely don't want me to be great, but it's okay. I'm going to finish this video. But like I said, y'all, do what you want to do. Don't worry about nobody else. Keep in your mind that time is of the essence. You do not have a lot of time to play with people nor yourself. So do what you got to do. Do it now. And I'm telling you, a couple years from now, you're going to remember, like, dang, she told me that. And I'm telling you, you will not regret doing anything that's for yourself. Make sure that even when you step out into that fearful mode, check yourself. Anytime that you step out of, oh, I don't feel like doing this. Oh, I don't want to be here. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's okay. Trust me. But yes, y'all, since apparently I don't know if my storage is getting low or what's going on, but I am going to cut the video a little bit short. But when it just comes to your happiness and fulfilling your purpose, y'all, do what's best for you. Don't care about nobody else i'm telling y'all because if you stay true to you i promise you you won't regret it you won't forget it and that time that you put into yourself it will be well worth it because even when you get into another relationship you get a new job you make new friends you're going to come whole and that's the best feeling ever y'all so and i know that so um yes don't forget to subscribe don't forget to tap in stay in tune i will be posting more videos more content i am going on vacation soon so i definitely can't wait for y'all to see my vlog um but yes it's lit so stay lit stay true stay positive stay happy and i love y'all